Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here showing Monique and how much money she is earning for different weeks. You notice the amount of time that she works each week actually increases and so does her pay, which makes sense. The more money you get usually is related to you getting uh, more hours. So based on the information in the table, how much will Monique earn if she works 40 hours? So we've got a few different options here on how we can figure out this 40 options. It's a table. so we might want to see if we can find a pattern like moving down, like how much it's plus, but you notice it's different over here on the left. We're going to get a plus 5, and then a plus 4, and then a plus 6. So it's inconsistent, and then that'd be a plus 10. So the hours are changing inconsistently, which means that we can't necessarily look at it vertically like up and down. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go side by side. We're going to need to see what's the relationship between these two numbers. And so let's take a look at this first one right here. So, so she makes $123.75 and she works for 15 hours. So you know what I want to do? I want to divide 123.75 by 15 and I want to see how much her hourly rate is. I know how much she makes for 15 hours. How much does she make in one hour? So let's just set up our long division here. So 15, 1, 2, 3.75. It's okay to have a decimal in the dividend. We just don't want decimals in the divisors. So let's see. 15 doesn't go into 12. It's going to go into 123. Let's try 8 times. Let's just see if that works. So that's going to be 40, 120. Yep, that's just perfect. So now we're going to bring down this 3, just one number at a time, just like we learned in fourth grade. 37, 15 goes into 37 twice. It's it pretty simple after this. 75, 15 times 5 is going to be 75. So it looks like she makes $8.25 an hour. That's my, that's my first calculation. So how can I check that against others? Well, let's multiply this 20 right here. Let's take my 825. I'm going to multiply that by 20 hours. See if I get this 165. That's going to be 0, 0, 0. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 2 is 4. Add the 1 is 5. And that's going to be 16. So 16500. Zero, zero. I had two digits behind the decimal in the factor. So two digits behind the decimal in our product, 165. So let's just do one more just to double check. And then we will just leave that and say that we know our fact. So let's do 825 again. We think that's going to be my hourly rate. Let's multiply that by that 30. Let's do that bottom one. So 0, 0, 0. And that's going to be 15. 3 times 20, 3 times 2 is 6. The other one is 7. So I've got 247.50 because I had two digits behind the decimal and the factor. So look at that. I found my hourly rate. So if we were thinking of a rule, right, we would think the rule is times 8.25. For every hour she works, she's going to make $8.25. So let's just figure out times 40, and we'll get our answer. 8.25, let's make that 25, times 40. 0, 0, 0, 8 times, f uh, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 2 is 8, carry the 1, that's 32, that's 33, so we've got 3, 3, 0, 0, 0, 2 digits behind the decimal, 2 digits behind the decimal, look at our answer right here, F, she's going to make $330, here's a shortcut we could have done, guys, if she makes 165 in 20 hours, for 40 hours, all you got to do is double it, right? Double it, you get 330.